Elon Musk has been shaking things up in the social media space ever since he purchased Twitter and turned it into X.com. We've been following Elon's mission on this channel to turn X into the everything app, which includes financializing the product saying that it could be upwards of half of the global financial system. And just this last week, we saw a major announcement come out that could be a big part of this equation and pretty much all but confirms that Twitter is moving in the direction of crypto. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. And if you wanna get ahead of the next crypto wave that is coming, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And the best way to do that is to become a blockchain master now before that happens. You know, now is the best time. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. So we've been talking for almost two years on this channel about how Twitter, now X.com, has been in position to become a Web 3.0 or crypto application. Whether that's a hybrid style crypto app or a full on Web 3.0 application, that remains to be seen. But all along the way, we've been tracking the incremental developments towards this mission and forecasting where that's headed. We watched Twitter roll out support for NFTs as verified profile pictures that you can link to your account. Twitter supporting cryptocurrency wallet addresses that get linked to your profile. We followed the entire Elon Musk saga as he was going to acquire Twitter to turn it into x.com and his plans for doing this, talking about he might potentially open source the Twitter algorithm. And that happened. You can see the entire source code here on GitHub. We saw the leaked text messages from Elon Musk in court talking about how he wanted to use Twitter and turn it into a blockchain application. And the design leaks earlier this year showing Twitter supporting a coins tab in the user interface. And most recently, we've been following Elon Musk's comments about turning X into the everything app, moving in the direction of making it a financial-based application that could become upwards of half of the global financial ecosystem if done right. And we've been betting big on this channel that crypto is going to play a major part in that. And just this last week, we saw a major piece of news come out that all but confirms that this is going to happen. So what is it and why is it such a big deal? Well, we just got the news that X.com was approved for multiple money transmitter licenses. So what is this and why is this potentially such a big deal? Well, a money transmitter license is something that's required by FinCEN to let you legally transmit money or monetary instruments such as checks, drafts, and wire transfers. But in addition to that, that's something that's required for you to let users custody and transfer crypto payments on your platform. Now, this without a doubt is a major deal and really shows X.com's hand about where they're headed and that they're serious about financializing the application. Now, you could look at this and say, hey, there's no guarantee that means they're going in the direction of crypto because really a money transmitter license could be for other types of financial instruments that they want to include in the platform. But really, I'm connecting the dots that they're going to be moving in the direction of crypto because like I said at the beginning of this video, that seems to be on the cutting edge of where all this is headed. And so what could this look like? What would this money transmitter license allow them to do on their platform with crypto? Well, I think the most likely scenario is basically integrating crypto payments, all peer-to-peer -peer transactions through users on x.com. That's probably the biggest low-hanging fruit that could be accomplished here, but a lot more beyond that. And it goes without saying that that could be a big deal for the crypto space because it could easily get a lot more people on board with using crypto as normal day-to-day -day payments. I mean, we just saw the news recently about PayPal releasing their own stablecoin. People are moving more and more in the direction of online payments with digital dollars in this way and unlocking that ability on Twitter could be massive. But beyond this, I think there are a few much bigger possibilities that are less obvious to the average person. And let me explain what those are. So one is X.com potentially becoming like a user interface for crypto that people use to interact with the blockchain on a day-to-day -day basis. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you're using blockchain right now, it's pretty abstract for most people. So you have to get a wallet like MetaMask and connect to a, you know, on your web browser to an app. And then you have to go look at these transactions on a block explorer. It doesn't really make sense. There's lots of zeros and X's and funny characters. And there's no real human layer to this. It's not very user friendly. And we've been talking for a long time about how a streamlined user experience can be really good for crypto at onboarding more people to where it's integrated into their daily lives in a more user friendly way. And one potential here is that X.com becomes a social layer for crypto in this way. So instead of just seeing a website like Etherscan, which is a bunch of abstract transactions with zeros and X's, numbers and letters, you can instead tie that back to a user's social profile on a website like X.com 
where you can see who this person is and what their associated blockchain wallet is and the transactions they're making so that when you're interacting with the person in a peer-to-peer -peer trustless way, you have some idea of who that is. And if all the other pieces of information that we've talked about in this video like Twitter integrating coins into their profiles and Elon talking about, you know, making Twitter more of a financialized app, then it adds a social layer to crypto that's really missing for everyday users. And this is also really big because people want more of a humanized experience for crypto so that it's not so abstract like I was talking about a second ago. Now, another big piece of the puzzle is this opens up the gateway potentially for decentralized identity management or DIM. That's actually a term that I coined on this channel. But the whole idea is Web 3.0 really doesn't have a good way to manage your identity just yet. We've got lots of different attempts at this, but nothing really streamlined and widely adopted. So the whole idea is you need some way to manage your reputation on a blockchain and you need to be able to link that back to an actual person, okay, so that you can use blockchains to prove that who you are who you say you are. And in order to do this, you need some type of identity issuer. Now, in order for this to really take off, the identity issuer needs to be widely accepted and trusted, okay? We have lots of smaller players in this space trying to work on this, but they have a massive hurdle to overcome, which is lots of people need to start using it and actually adopting it, okay? It's useless without that type of network effect. But if you have something like Twitter, who already has an insane number of users and can crack a solution for verifying your identity and then linking that back to a crypto wallet, then we have ways to start you know, managing that and you can convert a large percentage of that existing user base over to that new solution rather than a small startup trying to pull this off. And there's lots of different things we can do with decentralized identity online over time, just proving you are who you say you are with crypto. But a very minimum at the beginning, one of the biggest low hanging fruits is that you can prove that you are an actual person and not just a bot. And on top of, you know, crypto payments and decentralized identity management, there's lots of potential to take this even further, okay? If X.com really does become an everything app and finance is a big part of that equation, pretty much every single thing that you can do inside of finance right now could be a part of that whole ecosystem. And this could be a layer for that with crypto on the rails underneath, okay? And beyond that, even there's potential for you know, Twitter or X.com to become even more of a complete web 3.0 application instead of this sort of hybridized model that we're talking about right now. And so why could this work? Like, why is there potentially fertile ground for this to actually take off now? Well, there's lots of different reasons. So number one is that, you know, social media kind of feels stale right now. It sort of feels like nothing really new is happening. The same types of things are over and over again. People are just inundated with the same social media crap day in, day out. And people are hungry for a change. They're always ready to try sort of the next new thing. We kind of see a new social platform pop up every you know three years or so. And so the timing is right for that. And so I think we have proof positive with that right now with you know Twitter rebranding to X, people getting really excited about it, starting to move over to that platform and create new types of content on there. Also with Instagram threads that was released and lots of users flocking over to that. And so on top of that, inside the crypto space, we have new Web 3.0 based social media experiments launching right now, like friend.tech that gained an insane number of users really quickly with millions of dollars in fees collected with social tokens. OK, so this is another big experiment. People are hungry to try new stuff with social media, including Web 3.0 based social media. And this also lays the groundwork potentially for these new types of crypto features like social tokens to actually take off and become adopted and get integrated back into major platforms like x.com or Twitter. Now, we'll have to see if that's actually going to happen. Friendtech is still in its early stages. We don't know what the staying power of this particular application is or even social tokens in general, but the fact that this blew up overnight is a pretty good sign that people are hungry to try this type of thing and there's potential for long-term viability here, especially if we can get past some of the regulatory clarity on these types of things. But if X.com or Twitter is going to get anywhere close to this final destination that I think it's going to, the next step in the equation for sure is going to be integrating crypto into the app directly. And this approval of these money transmitter licenses for Twitter or X.com is an essential piece of that puzzle. Now, whether they first decide to do this with like fiat payments or something like that, that remains to be seen. But my bet is that they're going to start using crypto. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is the money transmitter license for crypto? Is it for something else? When do you think this is going to happen? Are they going to start supporting crypto next month at the beginning of 2024? I want to know your predictions down in the comment section below. I've already told you what I think, but I think all this is laying the groundwork for the next crypto expansion that is coming. And so if you want to get ahead of that next wave, then what can you do? 
Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and smash that like button down below. You're going to see more videos just like this, tracking all this progress of crypto, you know, becoming mainstream over time. And if you want to capitalize on this opportunity, then the best way to do that is to double down on your technical skills right now and learn this stuff before things get crazy again. And so how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Adapt University.